I was recently asked by a reader how to programmatically link shapes to data, the external data record sets in Visio. After overcoming the initial disappointment, he hadn't read this book of mine about mastering data visualization with Microsoft Visio, which is still extremely relevant. I decided I would uh, do some code snippets to show the example. So this is from an example out of the book where we've got an external data record set of uh, personnel. Um, yeah, hopefully you know by now that you can, for example, if I have a master shape here, and this one's just a person, as you can see here, I've got no data in it. But if I've got that master selected and I just drag and drop, I can have all the data transferred onto the shapes. Now that's great when you're dragging and dropping and you want to do that uh, interactively. And I've also got some data graphics being turned on here automatically as well. But what about if you wanted to do it code? So over here, I'm using LinkPad, uh, highly recommended, great place for doing some uh, scratch coding in there. And in this, I'm just getting hold of the running Visio, getting hold of the active window, active document, active page, etc. Switching on uh, diagram services and getting hold of the um, the active external data record set. There are other ways you can select it by the ID, but I thought easy for this example, just go be active. So if it's visible, getting hold of that selected data record set, as you can see here, and hopefully it's not null. Um, so we're moving to it. So then the important thing is criteria. We need a criteria to grab a row from that record set. And in this case, I'm going for Jim Kim, who's one of the people, I should think, in this list there. If I scroll up and down on the right hand side there, there's a Jim Kim. So if I get hold of him, that row, then I want to drop that master that you can see there, that person master, and I'm just going to drop it into the center of the page. So there should only be one returned ID, row ID, that is, and then we've got this drop the linked shape uh, onto the page. And as you can see, we give it that an X and Y, and we give it the data record set ID and the data row ID that we've just found, okay? And the last um, criteria, sorry, argument, is this last one here, which is whether to apply the data graphic after link or not. So first of all, I'll run that with false. And when I run this, you see we get the master dropped and the data filled in, as you can see, easy. If I want to have it with the data graphics on, I just change this argument to true and do the same thing again. And there we go. And we've got the data graphics on and we've got that down. So nice and simple. So let's just remove that. But what if you want to do many? So I'm going to drop in this case, all of those which are in the marketing within this record set. So here we can see we've got quite a few people who are in marketing. Again, I've got hold of the same uh, document master, uh, person master. And in this case, because I am getting multiple people and dropping multiple shapes, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to enclose it with an undo scope which just means if I do a control Z, control Z, if you're English like me, then uh, it will be just undone in one fail, control Z, control Z, right? So just go through that. And just so that I get some displacement, I've done a, a Delta Y displacement here, just based on the number of shapes um, or record rows I'm returning. So if I was just to do this, uh, and I'll put this as true again here, because it looks, pretty when I do that and run that. And we get, as you can see, uh, all of these personnel drop down. I've just displaced them out and just showing that you can apply data graphics.